The thing that the thing that shocks me so much about Fury Wilder was I knew because I spoke to Fury, he didn't want to fight anyone with a pulse, right? And that's why I never thought that fight would happen. But now I think we're in the same situation where I think you're going to be really shocked and disappointed by his opponent. Maybe I'm wrong. But who's he going to fight? Like, I say he don't fight. He doesn't have options. It's Oscar Rivas, Cobret Pulev. Rivas. I mean, Rivas or Pulev. I mean, the Pulev fight. Maybe Brian st Jennings. Stylistically, is one of the worst fights Fury against uh, against the Pulev. Like, oh man, the danger for Tyson Fury is unless he's got that guy who's coming to fight, who's an elite fighter, his style is horrendous to watch, right? He could fight in the US and he could absolutely stink the place out and it would actually affect the Wilder fight, you know? Wilder's probably going to go in there and fight Brazil. That's a live, that's a good, that's a good fight. Yeah, but if you're out, how do you say, hey, you were going to make 20, but let's go fight Brazil now? because he should be getting close to that number anyway to fight Brazil. 20 million to fight Brazil. No Why the hell would Hal Heyman pay him 20 million to fight Brazil? Because he can get it elsewhere. It doesn't mean he has to fight him. You know, so you're saying, saying to keep million. him. You're saying to keep Wilder from signing to someone else, you got to give him 20 million to fight Brazil? you got to give him 15 million for that fight. Wow. But that's the marketplace. It's crazy. Don't get me wrong. But you can't have... Joshua making whatever he's making, Fury making 20 million, and then Wilder sitting there going, okay, I'll take seven. Because he can get it on the zone and he can get it on ESPN. So I don't like Shelley Finkel's comments when he says, we're not going to give our fighter away. I mean, but you wouldn't sign a, a fighter over either, would you? Because you hear Frank Warren today, he's saying it, it's out of our hands. But that's Top Frank and Bob Arum are in control. Frank, Frank, so Frank Warren has no control over Tyson. Allegedly. Fury, okay, but that's probably quite true. But I'm saying about Shelley's comments, like it's not your job to give a fighter away. As an advisor and a manager, you have to look at the landscape. If he's a free agent, right? Which he to a network. Like, yes, of course. But he's promotionally free agent as well, right? He hasn't got a sign with me to come and fight on his own. He can fight on my show, right? But what I'm saying is, if he's got offers out there for 15 million for a voluntary defense, you can't ignore those offers. So the beauty of our offer is that you don't have to- Voluntary have to, defense? Who, who or a mandatory, or whatever. Who, do, who are you Brazil, willing to pay 15 million dollars for Deontay White, Wilder? Brazil, Konaki. All, you'll pay for all those Absolutely. fights? Absolutely. But they got to be on the zone. Uh, yeah, if, if I'm going to pay the money, they've got to be on the zone. No, 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 I get yeah. But what I'm saying is is that I'm not looking to tie you into five, six fights like so top So this is a one fight, two 15 fights, million dollars. Now we've got, to do, we've got to do one voluntary and we've got to do the two Joshua So 15 fights. with whoever you could get to sign the line, then 60-40 with Joshua. Yeah, or even, or, yeah, or, 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 or even more. Wow. Who knows? But I would, I would actually go in America. Back. Yeah, we could do it in America. First fight in America. We could do it. We don't want to. What like about you. the rematch? You know that was the issue. Then I think if I think if the fight, again, all to be discussed. But I think if Joshua was to lose the fight, he should get the opportunity to do it in the UK. Okay, but not a higher percentage as the loser. No, 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 no. no. But that was no, because you know your, your rematch did have a 50-50 yeah, rematch that's for higher, Joshua that's, as a loser. That's not a higher percentage. Yeah, but he's the loser. But should but be also, the, the yes, winner. As the, Dillian White all says, these the numbers, should come from all the these numbers, were free fury. But listen, isn't it hypocritical for Joshua to say, "You fight me under my terms. You got the keys to the land. Except yeah. the rematch is still 50-50. I'm still slightly it's, in control." To be honest, if you're offering a voluntary defense to someone, take Wilder out. That's more than fair. Mm -hmm. So you're saying, to "Someone, I'm going to give you the opportunity to fight." There's five million. If you beat me, you're going to make fifteen or twenty. In a rematch. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but you're, you're negotiating yeah, yeah, yeah. a second yes, fight as is, a loser. What I'm saying to you now is things have changed. We, when we negotiated those splits, just let me finish, just let me finish. He hadn't fought Fury. His pro, like, I accept his profile now is much higher. I accept, that's why when we offered him $15 million now, we're offering him, I don't know, nearly, probably nearly double that now, right? Because his profile has increased for whatever reason. But, so let's talk about it. Me, I'll say this to you, every time we interview now, we're having the conversations that I should be having with him. Now, is the 15 going to be fair in his eyes since it's rumored that you're giving Billy Joe Saunders 15 yeah, by the way, million who has it? By the way. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Yeah, yeah, man. Some present for you. Oh, for some cigarettes. Those are Muhammad Ali playing cards, man. For oh, wow. Retired fighters for you. We want to get those cards out here. We want donations. Love so it. that they can help the injured fighters and people like any fighters. Great idea. Right? Great idea. Uh, we got, uh, what's his name? 
just take this picture oh, with anyone. Rocky Lockridge, for an example. Rocky Lockridge, yeah. He didn't have no money for a funeral. You want to be able to... I think that's a great idea. Right? Great idea. My name is Mitchie Rose, by the way. Now, I wish I would have got a shot at that. You know, I'm the man that beat Butterbee. This is the game of the football. You know what I mean? I can't get up. Where were we? You said we'd offered Billy Jack Sean as 15. Yeah, is that ancient? No, no, no. Perfect. I want you to debunk these rumors. By the way, Probably because he was offered the Saunders fight and sorry the Andrade fight and then a Canelo fight and then so yeah maybe oh, so package yeah, like deal. fifteen. Right. <laughs> like, okay. I like Billy Joe. <laughs> a tenth would be too much, you know. So um, no, absolutely, and you know that's why I really I think Showtime are in a tough spot with Wilder because they can't pay Wilder that kind of money unless he's on pay per view. But, so but when does the zone money run out? How could they keep well, paying this type because, of money? Because they have a huge investment pot and it ain't going anywhere. This ain't end. Like, it's still there. They're not running out of money. Like, they have a four, five, eight year plan with us and money, money allocated to make this happen. So it's not like oh, if we don't get subscribers. And by the way, we're getting subscribers. This fight, Joshua's fight, we're in a good spot to have a good run. But you guys are not releasing subscribers or no, viewers. You've got to ask those questions to those people. Well, I asked John McCross. Yeah. He said, well, as a private company and their shares are not open, yeah. they, don't have, they're not, uh, they don't have to. But, like, let me tell you, they are spending and spending and spending and I see it behind the scenes more and more and more it's like let's make Joshua Wilder you know, let's make let's, let's get Golovkin let's do this let's do that it's not whoa hang on a minute oh, we can't really afford this this is how aggressive they're being listen maybe well, speaking of aggressive what's up with uh, Kid Galahad and Josh Warren May the 4th is the date for the first game? no May the 4th is the fight so who won the first game? Frank Warren Whoa, I thought the zone was in boxing. It's not an American fight, so you go for us. Ah, yeah. Less interest, kind of like Dillian White. We bid $1.4 million, which was huge, huge for that fight, and he bid 1.6. So, and what's the split to the challenger? 65-35 for the IBF for so the new So Kid Galahad is happy. 600,000, you know, so good luck to you. And, um, but there's the there's this Sky UK pop, and then there's the Dizone pop. It's a bit like White Chisora. Dizone looked here and went, I don't, we don't think this is US relevant. I didn't. We love that fight. I didn't agree with him, by the way. We but, loved it. You know, um, Chisora put on a hell of a performance. Yeah. He's fighting again April 20th, actually. So. Yeah, and he's with Dave Carwell. Correct. Right? Things are moving. Things yeah. are moving.